So once again, Machinic reached out to us and sent this keyboard for review and this is called the K500 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. As per usual, we'll check its physical overview, features, to a typing sound test and more. We'll tell you everything you need to know coming up. Hey what's up guys this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box? Obviously the mechanical keyboard itself. A right angle USB-C to USB-A cable around 5 feet. Key switch and keycap puller. Two extra 10 red switches and the manual. Now let's check out some physical overview. So the build is all plastic material with sandblasted textures on the sides. And on the bottom, we have a wavy texture finish and some tattoo-like texture over here. We also have four rubber feet to keep the keyboard in place and also a single keyboard riser. I thought it doesn't have a rubber feet, but it seems that it has one for both. The whole body has a bit of flex in it, but the good thing is that when you type in it, it doesn't bend at all. The USB-C connector is on the left side for some reason and the lighting indicator glows in red which is I'm not a fan of and it is located near the escape key. Anyway, this is a 90% keyboard layout but with the size of a normal TKL keyboard. The keys are squeezed so much with the numpad on this side and it seems it doesn't have the usual enter key on it. The plate inside seems like it was made out of plastic as well. No wonder the keyboard itself is very light. The keyboard has a PBT shot keycaps and it seems like the texture finish does not absorb much finger oil. And I love that part. However, I'm not a fan of the font. Just a personal preference. Like I mentioned earlier, we got a Huano red switches with 3 pins and the keyboard has 3 different switches available in their websites which you can check in the link in the description. Lastly, the keyboard has a north facing switches. Now let's check out some features. One of the best feature of this keyboard is that it is hot swappable, meaning you can replace the switches easily without soldering. Usually hot swappable keyboards are very expensive, but Machinic made a budget version for everyone. Though this is a 90% keyboard, we do have 94 keys available, which for me it will take some time to get used to the layout. Just so you know, this also has an anti-ghosting feature, meaning if you press multiple keys at the same time, it will all be registered. This is becoming a common feature nowadays, so if your keyboard does not have this feature yet, you better upgrade today and I suggest get one of these already. By the way, this keyboard is advertised to work in Windows operating system only. Not sure if it does work in Mac OS or Linux since I don't have devices for those OS, we can't test it out. Lastly, this one also has an RGB feature with its own driver. Speaking of its own driver, it is basic, right on your face, plug and play, ready to go kind of software. First of all, you can change the language here, English or Alien. Just kidding, I'm not sure why is it like that. Anyway, we are limited to 3 profiles only and we cannot add or rename any which is a bummer. But all keys are programmable and basically you can change the functions of each accordingly depending on your games or workflow. You can do a key assignment, macro or media. If you want to edit the RGB colors, you need to check this and the options will be available for profile 1. We have several RGB lighting presets that you could play with or you could just do a single fixed color. You can also edit the colors of each keys and do something like this. Record it accordingly and use it on the fly using function key plus 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. You don't need to run the software in order to have your customized RGB or keys to function. It basically records it in the keyboard itself and will still function the same way even if you use another PC. Unfortunately, this only applies to the last profile you use before you use the keyboard with another PC. We can also change the RGB and media on the fly using the function keys in its manual. I translated it since it's written in Chinese, so here is the translation. By the way, Machinic, please include an English manual soon since you guys are aiming for international customers. Anyway, that's all that there is in its manual. Now, let's do some sound tests.
Now let's move into the conclusion and let me begin with the bad news first. The plasticky build and weak overall body is a bit of a concern for me. This needs a metal plate to protect the keyboard's PCB. I understand that we need to cut the budget but we can't really compromise with the physical build since this will determine the longevity of the product itself. I'm not saying that the keyboard is poorly made but I believe that Machinic can do better than this. Another thing is the software. We are limited to 3 profiles only. Not to mention we can't rename them so basically you have to remember which profile is for a specific program or app you have set it into. Also the profile does not automatically change when a particular program or app uh, launches which is one of the things that Machinic needs to work onto into their drivers. Other than these two, everything is phenomenal. And one of those is it is affordable for a mechanical hot swappable keyboard. The pricing is really competitive to be honest. There are also other brands with the same price but but this is a bit lower than any other brands as per checking by the time we were making this video. I love the detachable USB-C connector though the location is a bit different from most keyboards nowadays. I also love that the customized keys and program RGB colors does not need the software after one time setup in its driver. So basically you have the same profile setup even if you use the keyboard to another PC. I like the wide spectrum of its RGB options, especially the self-defined program that records your RGB setup in functions 1 to 5. The keycaps does not absorb much finger oil. It is hot swappable and you don't need to worry about a key not working because we have two extra switches in the box. The stabilizers are pre-lube and very much appreciated by those who do not know how to lube like me. The squeeze keyboard layout is also awesome. This is really for those who want a small keyboard but does not want to lose the numpad. Overall, it is a nice keyboard to have. Anyway, if you'll ask me if I'll recommend this, well, that is a yes. Especially if you want to experience a hot swappable mechanical keyboard for the first time. If you want one for yourself today, I place a link in the description below for you to check it out. Make sure you click the discounted link to receive a special coupon to get this keyboard for even less than its usual price. If you think that this is not for you, perhaps you want to check the other hot swappable mechanical keyboard review we have on your screen. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.